Good morning. As the sun rises over Europe, a new season is just around the corner, and with it comes a fresh set of questions about what the weather will bring. With September's arrival, people from Lisbon to Warsaw are looking up at the sky, wondering if this year will bring golden autumn days, early frosts, or perhaps a return of those wild winter storms we've seen in recent years. Today, we'll break down the long-range forecasts for fall and winter 2025 to 2026 using the latest data from satellites, ocean temperatures, and atmospheric patterns. These advanced tools help meteorologists make sense of the complex forces shaping Europe's weather, from the Atlantic's shifting currents to the jet stream high above. Meteorologists are closely monitoring major climate drivers like La Nina and the polar vortex. These powerful systems can dramatically alter storm tracks, precipitation, and temperatures across the continent, sometimes bringing unexpected twists to the season. Early signals suggest a significant shift is coming. After several years of relatively mild and predictable weather, there are growing indications that a colder, more classic European winter could be on the way, with increased chances for snow and icy conditions in many regions. Autumn will likely be a season of transition, Expect a start that's mild and unsettled with blustery winds and rain before temperatures drop and the landscape transforms into a wintry scene as the months progress. In this chapter, we'll explain the science behind these forecasts, review some of the recent severe weather events that have shaped our understanding, and give you practical tips and tools to stay informed and prepared for whatever the season may bring. So, whether you're planning your autumn holidays, preparing your home for winter, or just curious about what's ahead, let's dive into what you can expect in the months to come. Autumn 2025 is shaping up to be a season of two halves. The first half, through September and early October, will be unsettled. Expect rain, occasional thunderstorms, and average temperatures. Western and Northern Europe, including the UK, Ireland, and Scandinavia, will see the most rain as lingering summer systems move through. By mid-October, a major pattern reversal is likely, with high pressure building and storm tracks shifting. This will bring drier, cooler conditions to some regions, setting the stage for winter. Global climate drivers like La Nina and changes in the stratosphere will start to influence Europe, possibly bringing earlier cold snaps and the first frosts. The cooling trend in late autumn hints at a colder, snowier winter ahead. To truly understand what this winter might bring, we need to explore two major atmospheric forces that are shaping the forecast, La Nina and the polar vortex. These two phenomena, though thousands of kilometers apart, can work together to create dramatic changes in Europe's weather patterns, influencing everything from temperature to snowfall, and even the frequency of storms. La Nina is a recurring climate pattern marked by cooler-than-average sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern Pacific Ocean. This cooling disrupts global air circulation, shifting weather systems far beyond the Pacific. For Europe, La Nina often means the development of high-pressure blocking systems over the Atlantic. These blocks can divert the usual flow of milder, wetter air, instead allowing frigid Arctic air to surge southward. As a result, Europe can experience colder, drier and sometimes snowier conditions than usual, especially in northern and central regions. This atmospheric setup is a major reason why meteorologists are predicting a colder winter for much of Europe. The increased likelihood of persistent cold spells and heavier snowfall is directly tied to these shifting global patterns. The polar vortex meanwhile is a vast pool of extremely cold air swirling high above the Arctic. Normally it's contained by strong winds, but when the vortex weakens or becomes unstable, it can send waves of icy air plunging south into Europe. This can trigger sudden severe cold snaps, bringing temperatures well below average and increasing the risk of disruptive winter weather. Early indicators this year suggest the polar vortex may be weaker than normal, raising the chances of prolonged cold outbreaks. Meteorologists are closely monitoring atmospheric data, looking for signs that the vortex could split or shift which would allow even more Arctic air to spill into Europe. When La Nina's influence combines with a weakened polar vortex, the result is a perfect recipe for a colder, snowier European winter. This rare alignment can lead to extended periods of freezing temperatures, increased snowfall, and a higher risk of winter storms, especially in areas that are typically more temperate. Meteorologists are also watching for sudden stratospheric warming events, rapid temperature rises high in the atmosphere, 
that can disrupt the polar vortex and unleash even more intense cold. These shifts are difficult to predict, but they can have dramatic impacts on Europe's winter weather, sometimes within just a few days. The interplay between La Nina and the polar vortex is the driving force behind this season's long-range forecast. By understanding how these global patterns interact, scientists can better anticipate the risks of extreme cold, heavy snow, and even flooding in the months ahead. As we move deeper into winter, we're already seeing the effects of these powerful forces. Let's take a closer look at how La Nina and the polar vortex are shaping Europe's weather right now. Today Europe is experiencing a classic early September mix as summer fades and autumn arrives. Western cities like London and Paris are cool and partly cloudy, with highs around 1920 degrees Celsius. Perfect for a light jacket. Amsterdam is similar while Lille is a bit cooler at 15 degrees Celsius. Head south and it's a different story. Barcelona is basking in 28 degrees Celsius and Nice is warm but bracing for possible severe storms. This north-south contrast is driven by the jet stream, which separates cooler Atlantic air from the warm, humid Mediterranean. The result? A patchwork of weather across the continent, with active conditions in the south and cooler, unsettled air in the north. Let's look at what's next for September. The first half of September looks active and unsettled for much of Europe. Expect frequent rain and wind, especially in the UK, Ireland and northern France, as low-pressure systems, some energized by ex-Hurricane Aaron, move through. Temperatures will be near average, but the weather will swing between wet, breezy days and occasional sunny breaks. By mid-month, there's a chance for high pressure to build over Central Europe, bringing a brief spell of drier, warmer weather, especially for cities like Paris. However, the UK and Scandinavia may stay unsettled. Confidence drops for late September, but new Atlantic storms could bring more rain and wind. Overall, expect a roller coaster of conditions, with temperatures near or slightly above average. The key be ready for rapid changes. Now let's review some recent severe weather events. In recent weeks, Europe has been a dramatic stage for rapidly changing and often dangerous weather. What began as a typical late summer has quickly escalated into a series of severe storms, catching many communities off guard and highlighting just how unpredictable the region's climate can be. In late August, northern Italy and southern Switzerland were battered by a relentless series of storms. These systems unleashed more than 200 millimeters of rain in just a short period, overwhelming rivers and drainage systems. Large hailstones pelted towns and villages, shattering windows and damaging vehicles, while powerful winds uprooted trees and downed power lines, leaving thousands without electricity. Meanwhile, southern France faced its own weather emergency. Hurricane force gusts swept through the region, toppling trees, tearing roofs from buildings and causing widespread destruction. The aftermath left entire neighborhoods struggling to recover, with emergency crews working around the clock to clear debris and restore essential services. These intense events are often driven by supercell storms, massive rotating thunderclouds that form when warm humid air from the Mediterranean collides with cooler air from the north. The result can be sudden flash floods that sweep through towns with little warning, as well as destructive winds capable of causing significant damage in a matter of minutes. Right now, the North Adriatic region is under particular threat. Meteorologists warn that up to 300 millimeters of rain could fall in just 12 hours, a staggering amount that could trigger catastrophic flash floods. Low-lying areas and coastal cities in Slovenia, Croatia and Italy are especially vulnerable, with emergency services on high alert. At the heart of this severe weather is a deep, upper-level trough, a large dip in the jet stream that channels unstable air across the continent. This atmospheric setup creates explosive conditions, fueling repeated rounds of thunderstorms that can last for hours or even days, bringing torrential rain, frequent lightning, and intense winds. Alongside the risk of flooding, there's also a heightened danger of large hail and even tornadoes, particularly along the Italian, Slovenian, and Croatian coasts. These hazards can develop rapidly, leaving little time for residents to seek shelter or protect property. All of these events underscore just how volatile and dynamic the current weather pattern is across southern Europe. The combination of warm seas, shifting air masses, and powerful atmospheric disturbances means that conditions can change in an instant, making it essential for everyone to stay informed. In times like these, staying alert to official warnings and updates is absolutely crucial. 
by keeping an eye on forecasts and heating advice from local authorities, communities can better prepare for whatever the weather may bring next. Let's compare temperatures across Europe's major cities. London and Amsterdam are in the high teens to low 20s, classic sweater weather under the influence of cool Atlantic air. Paris is slightly warmer, with highs in the low 20s, and could see a brief warm-up if high pressure builds mid-month. The Mediterranean remains hot. Barcelona will stay in the high 20s with plenty of sunshine, perfect for beachgoers. This sharp north-south divide shows the battle between air masses. As autumn progresses, northern cities will cool faster with first frosts likely by late October or November. Barcelona will cool more gradually, but the seasonal shift is coming for all. These changes signal the approach of a colder winter. Long-range forecasts are about probabilities, not guarantees. Meteorologists use constantly updated data from satellites, weather balloons, and supercomputers to model the atmosphere. The closer we get to winter, the more accurate the forecasts become. That's why it's important to check for updates regularly. Weather patterns can shift as new data comes in. Factors like the strength of La Nina or the timing of a polar vortex disruption can change the outlook. For the most reliable information, use trusted sources like ECMWF or Meteor. Stay flexible and informed to make the best plans for the season. Now let's talk about how you can be prepared. As we head into a dynamic season, the key is to stay aware and prepared. In the short term, keep rain gear handy and check daily forecasts, especially if you're in Southern Europe. For winter, make sure your heating system is ready, check insulation, and locate your warm clothes. Prepare your car for winter if you live in snowy areas. Embrace the changing seasons, each brings its own beauty and opportunities. Stay informed by checking reliable weather sources and paying attention to local warnings. With a little preparation, you can enjoy the season and handle whatever weather comes your way. Stay safe and enjoy what's ahead.